Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all medicine recipes in Vampire. So stay tuned. If you want to get more views on your YouTube gaming channel, go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter right now. When you go over there, you'll get to this page and you'll be able to discover the secret to getting more YouTube views with a free chapter of my book, A Gamer's Guide to Greatness. This free chapter will teach you how to use video SEO to bring more views to your gaming videos, how to make your videos rank on the first page of YouTube, and how to build a YouTube gaming channel that grows consistently. So definitely go to growonyoutube.com forward slash free chapter and start growing your YouTube gaming channel today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growingyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And in Vampire, you need to unlock a bunch of medicine recipes in order to be able to help the citizens. Let's see if we can find where the medicine recipes are. I think they're here. Like, yeah, in the inventory. You can go through here. Do you have recipes over here? No. We actually can't show you the recipes right about now. But basically, I've got the you get the first tier when you start the game, I believe you get the second tier in a main mission and you get the third tier when you come to Whitechapel. If you come like over here near the church, you speak to this guy and you get his side mission, then you'll you'll be able to get the third tier. You need to talk to Father Tobias Whitaker. So I'm going to go through the speech, Will. I'm not going to show you everything because I, I don't want to spoil anything for you. But I'm going to show you which dialogue you need, which dialogue option you need to choose in order to get the side mission where he will send you to Stonebridge Cemetery. And that's where you'll be able to find the next tier of medicine. So the speech option you need to select is personal questions. Then you ask him if he's got any family left. He'll tell you about some guy who he sees as a son. And then you ask, where did you send him? And then he'll tell you he sent him to the cemetery. And that's when you'll unlock the investigation. Oh, we can't actually look through that. Here we go. That's where you unlock the investigation. And you can get that here. You can track it by pressing square. We're going to go do it and show you that you gain tier three medicines after the fact. So I'll be right back. So we are at the cemetery now. Let me quickly show you the route we took. Now, this way, which we came from the hospital, we came through this way. You'll need to fight a lot of vampire hunters. I think there's two vampire hunters that are level 16. And the rest of them, I think, are level 14. So there's like four level 14, two level 16 guys. And if you come this way, you have to fight some sort of werewolf thing and some other vampires. And this was the way I originally took. And I went there at like level nine. And then I realized I probably shouldn't do that. And I came back to the hospital. I ate one person. And I also completed all the side quests around the hospital. And let me quickly show you my character sheet. This is what I'm using. I'm basically using this good barbed cudgel. And these are my abilities. Shadow Mist, Spring, Blood Spear, Claw. And I finally got my ultimate Blood Cauldron. We're currently at level 13. And right about here, we're pretty, we're pretty okay. We're on level 3 health, level 4 stamina, level 2 blood capacity, 1 thirst, 2 bite, 3 fast regeneration. So this is enabled me to get past those enemies pretty easily although i didn't go back the original way i came but if you're coming at the same level that i'm at you should have a pretty easy time fighting those guys so we're gonna go to oh there's another thing that we need to deal with so there are a few missions in here in this cemetery now obviously we have the mission from earlier the samuel mission and then we also have a mission in chapter three which will take us to the cemetery so you can wait until you get to the main mission chapter three and that will send you to the cemetery anyways we are gonna complete all the missions in this area and i'll bring you to the point where we actually find the medicine recipes so stay tuned so 
you actually don't need to complete the mission to find Samuel and do all that sort of stuff. What you really need to do is you need to come to this entrance of the Stonebridge Cemetery from Whitechapel. But I've come obviously through this entrance from the hospital and I've come out to this entrance near Whitechapel. Um, you can just go straight from Whitechapel, but you will have to fight that big monster and a few skulls. Although if you go through here, then you're going to have to fight a bunch of skulls like level 16 to level 14. So pick your poison. I highly suggest you level up before doing this. But when you come here, as you come to the actual entrance to the Stonebridge Cemetery to the right, you'll see a body over here and you can pick up the strange formula over there. And I believe if we go back to our hideout and we analyze this strange formula it will give us all the recipes that we need so that's what we're going to do right about now and we're going to show you all the recipes up and running we have found a hideout quite close to where we came from quite close to the cemetery it's just over here so we're going to unlock these tier three blueprints Let's hold down X and here we go tier three boy now we can finally cure those headaches and migraines and bring people back to good health. I think I don't think we got anyone with neuralgia, but we do have a few headaches, a few migraines. So we're going to craft a bunch of those up and start healing more people. But I hope this video helped you out as I was very confused as to how to do this. So I'm very happy I found that. I'm very happy I could teach you guys how to do this as well. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you'd like, to make, you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next Vampire PS4 tutorial. Peace out. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.